Hello everyone. Right. If you saw my live stream this afternoon, my time, over on Michelle After Dark, you'll know that um, I covered the case of Karen Reed and John O'Keefe. Karen Reed is accused of John O'Keefe's murder. Now, there's an interesting uh, little tidbit. A Google search that the defence found. Note the prosecution didn't find it because they were using old software. The defence found it. That at 2.27am, Jennifer McCabe, right? So if you don't know who Jennifer McCabe is, if you don't know who Karen Reed is, John O'Keefe, all that, go and check out my live stream. But for those that do, stay tuned. Because at 2.27am, Jennifer McCabe made a Google search. How long does it take someone to die in the cold or words to that effect this is um a bone of contention and i wasn't sure so i've gone away and done some research i'm going to show you the result of my research in a moment but this is um court tv i'm going to play a minute or so from court tv from about a month ago and uh cell phone expert allegedly uh jennifer coffendaffer is here to tell us how it's possible for a Google search at 2.27am to not actually be uh, a thing at 2.27am. Actually, it happened three or more hours later. Listen. And here's where the whole battle's going to be bought, uh, fought. However, the Google search, how long to die in the cold, did not occur at 227 and 40 seconds a.m. This is the prosecution disputing that time. How on earth? Why is it not like black and white? Why are we now fighting in the gray area when it comes to the time of a Google search? Let me bring in uh, a special guest joining us, Jennifer Coffindale from Jacksonville, Florida, retired FBI special agent and an expert in cell phone searches. Jennifer, great to see you. Thank you for being with us. Why on earth? We all have these phones. We've had them for years. I've watched a million trials. Why? Why would there be experts saying different things about the time that a search is done on a phone? How is that possible? Well, how it's possible is essentially at that time, the 227 mark, she opened up a, a Google search, if you will, and that search was for actually basketball, ozone, a scoreboard. So now she's Googling, and then she also actually watches a video. Anyway, that window was essentially open. So the timestamp is from the earlier time that it was opened. And so later, when uh, she's with Karen Reed, who is asking her, please, please, you know, uh, Google this. How long can a body, you know, be uh, outside in the cold before they die, essentially? Then she Googles it. So the stamp is registering from when that window, if you will, was originally open. Well, it appears that Jennifer Coffendaffer is wrong. What you're seeing, <laughs> what you're seeing in front of you is me closing all of my multitude of windows that I've got open on uh, Google Chrome on my iPhone 12. So perhaps Jennifer Coffendaffer is an expert in all of the phones except iPhone 12s. Maybe iPhone 12s work differently than any other phone in the world. But try this on your own phone. So I've never closed a window properly, it appears, <laughs> on my iPhone 12. All right, I'm going to delete all and uh, I'm going to open up a brand new window. All right, so I'm clicking delete all and I now have no windows open on Google Chrome. So I'm going to open a new window on Google Chrome and brand new window and I'm going to do a series of searches. So this is uh, Craig Ross Jr., all right, so that's a search. That's one search. All right, so that's one window. One window open. Got it? Right, we're going to search for something else now. We're going to search for, I don't know, let's say Summer Wells. Let's do Summer Wells. Summer Wells. Right, we're opening Summer Wells. So it's the same window, Summer Wells. Right, so that's uh, the independent talking about summer wells all right okay still same window still same window right we're now going to do another google search what we're going to search for this time we're going to search for crime all right we're just doing a general search for crime what does google 
say about crime. All right, it's a show. I didn't know that. All right, where am I going to go next? I'm going to open up Wikipedia. What Wikipedia says about crime. So that's still the same window. Three different searches. Okay, now we're going to open up a new window. Right, now I've opened up a new window. Can you see? I've now got two windows open. Two windows open. All right, so I'm searching now in the second window. I'm on Ancestry.com. All right, so that's another search. That's on the second window. All right, so this is uh, Summerwell's ancestor. All right, okay, I've now got two windows. Now I'm going to go to my history. And um, if Jennifer Coffendaff is right, then all the searches from the first window will have the same time and all the searches from the second window will have the same time. But a later time, that's not true, is it? Look at all the times I've done. 1808, 1809, 1810, 1811. All different times. Each search creates a separate time. It doesn't matter when you opened up the window. Each search gives a separate time. So... It's not that Jennifer McCabe's window was opened at 2.27 and then she left that window open and then did another search. No, that Google search, how, how long it takes someone to die in the cold, it appears really was at 2.27 a.m. Prove me wrong, someone. Prove me wrong.